I feel like to me, like Barbies were mostly like plastic things to like practice sex on with like other Barbies. <laughs>《A Lot of Us Grew Up With Them》There was Superstar Barbie, Astronaut Barbie, and all the holiday Barbies. We loved them so much, but never thought we could be them until today. It's Ladylike, and we're getting transformed, transformed, transformed into our favorite Barbies. I grew up as an only child, so my experience with Barbies was quite robust. Barbies, for me, was what I was into right before I got into American Girl dolls. My Barbies kind of served as a fun way to be making friends and to be establishing bonds with those other girls that I was playing with. I would do their hair, I would change their clothes, I would cut their hair also. My mom was super into Barbies in the 60s, and so I had all of her old 60s Barbies too. I feel like all of my Barbie choices as a kid were made entirely based on the outfits and not based on what I wanted to be. I had a bunch of different variations of the Christie dolls, but today I chose to get transformed into Black Barbie. Sparkle Beach Barbie, Teresa edition. Totally hair Barbie because I had many Totally Hair Barbies and I cut all of their Totally Hair right off. I liked her because she had tannish skin, brownish hair. I remember looking at her and being like, oh, I think she kind of looks like me. Teresa is wearing kind of like a purple, sparkly, bedazzled bikini situation. This like swimsuit style is definitely not something that I would like choose for myself. I think on a Barbie, it's like, okay, cool, but it never is something that I would normally wear. She was the first black Barbie, just given the Barbie name. There were black Barbies before her, but their names were Francie and Christy, and they were like the friends and the sidekicks. The first black Barbie is super dope because it was the first time that a black Barbie doll was the center of the universe and wasn't a sidekick. Black Barbie is wearing this really pretty red gown that's a little scantily clad with a high slit. There's this beautiful gold piece that goes around her neck that's attached to the dress that I love. And she just has like natural hair, kind of fro vibe. Black Barbie definitely looks like she could have been in the Supremes. Totally Hair Barbie is the best selling Barbie to date. They sold a hundred million dollars worth of these Barbies in the first year it came out, which makes total sense because people probably kept cutting the hair off. I love Totally Hair Barbie's outfit. She had like this crazy dress with like this weird print and the dress meets her like right below the crotch. She also had like a very similar hair texture to me. I also have like hair that is looks like it kind of fell asleep in a crimper and then you pull it out and you're like, oh, okay, I guess. Also, Totally Hair's Barbie has a headband that you can also use as a belt. Could you imagine having a headband that you could just be like, oh, I don't know, I need a belt. I guess I'll just stick it around my waist. I don't think I'm gonna look like a Barbie. I think I'm gonna look like an actress in a John Waters film. It's Teresa time. Let's go, girls. We're the photographers for today. We're gonna be taking photos of these girls turned into Barbies, well, Barbie proportions. I think the hardest part will be nailing the poses. We'll see how they do. Ready? Yes. This is what we're trying to recreate here. I'm gonna feel like Tyra Banks in Disney's Life Size. Poor Barbie can't even move her elbows. It's all in the shoulders. Keep With that your arms the same like a Barbie and only rotate them at your shoulders. Like that. Barbie's pose is such a weird, unnatural pose, but it seems like it's maximized to make her seem as sexual as possible. I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun really trying to embody Barbie and doing her pose and really trying to be stiff. I think seeing myself looking like Teresa is gonna be really weird because she always seemed kind of like removed from me. It's like, oh, we have some similarities, but I never felt like I was her or she was me. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. <laughs> oh, that was a workout. Yep. Open your eyes as much as you can. I didn't realize how big Barbie's eyes were. In order to get your eyes so that they're as big as Barbie's, you have to look a little unhinged. All right, head more this way. Yeah, there you go. Also left arm down a little bit. Yeah. Yep. I think the hardest part was standing on my tiptoes because Teresa's feet are never flat. So this is that's that's really, really Yeah. Yeah. You're good. You're yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yay! That's really good. Did like it! Said, There's more transformation to be done. This is just the tip of the iceberg. So I'm excited to see the finished product. I want to see what I look like as the actual 1980 Black Barbie.
right, so today is the day. Today I'm seeing myself photoshopped into Sparkle Beach Barbie. It's been a couple weeks and anticipation has been high. I'm a little nervous. I know I'm not gonna look like a human, but that's okay. I mean, looking like a human is overrated. Like Barbie doesn't even do it. I saw myself with my body proportions and all of the hair and makeup. I'm curious to see like how that translates into Barbie proportions. I've only ever held a Barbie, but I've never turned into that held Barbie. I am prepared to laugh. Okay, I'm ready to see myself as Black Barbie. Oh, the wait, the photos are here? <laughs> Such drama. <laughs> What in the world? Can I touch it? Everything is so tiny. I don't look that different from my normal self. Like my body looks different, but like that's still my face. The proportions of my face are the same. Body is completely different. What a long neck. What happened to my neck? Can a neck hold up that much head? Uh, the waist has been tucked. Did you have to extend the breastuses at all? A little bit. So the, the funnel shape is there. The hips, they jut out like a bell. This is like the mom who makes the best potato salad. These are the size of my hamster's hands. I already have really small feet. I wear like a five and a half. This is like a size two. Can you get a little close up on this, please? She looked normal to me growing up. I didn't think that her neck was extremely long for her body, or I didn't think her hands and feet were too tiny for her body. It's like actually pretty jarring. Barbie has tried to incorporate more diverse body types into its repertoire of Barbie. But I think as long as they keep the original Barbie, people are still gonna look at the other Barbies as not the optimal Barbie. When I was walking into here, I was like, what if I'm gonna see myself as a Barbie and think that I look better as a Barbie? I do not look like an actual person, so why is it that I feel like Barbies are pretty and look like people and something that people aspire to look like? I think it's really cool how sort of the image of women has changed throughout time. This being the first black Barbie, of course she had to be glamorous, but this also isn't the only representation of women and their style and how they carry themselves. I think that I'm just as much of a woman as 1980 Black Barbie. I will say this has been super fun. I love how much hair I have here. I love this outfit. I love her styling. I'd wear this outfit today, no problem. Getting photoshopped into our favorite Barbies. Lady tested. Lady all dolled up. Lady long hair, don't care. Thanks Black Barbie, you're iconic. And now so am I.